What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we have a Patreon request from just a person. <laughs> um, on Patreon. That's the person's name, just a person. So, um, it's Luffy versus Luchi uh, from One Piece. Specifically the part at the end sort of where Luffy wins with that Gatling gun, right? So, um, Pretty tricky draw on this, right? Not gonna lie. So take your time, use a pencil and eraser, hit pause if I go too fast, all that good stuff. So Luffy's all like hunched over on this side and he's got all the fists coming out. Now we'll draw the fists just sort of as fast sort of sketch lines. We'll, Cause like drawing all the all those fists would be way too hard and this is hard enough drawn as it is. So lots of like action lines and stuff going towards uh, Luchi's body. And he's sort of like all flailing back. You can't really see his face, but he's like down here, real small. Luffy's real big here, okay? So, Luffy's head is kind of upside down, right? And the biggest thing on the face is like his mouth, okay? So, center point of my page about here. Come over to the right and up a little bit. And we're gonna like put his head in here. And it's going down, right? So just to get the direction, we'll we'll put his um, neck in here first, right? So we want to go like, like a curved line, just starting here. Down like so. Right, and then the other side of his neck, just here. So that's like both sides of his neck, okay? And you can have neck muscle lines, say, inside here. Yeah, it's neck coming down there. Collarbone here. And a collarbone, say, just there. All right, so everything's kind of upside down now, so. But that's what we're going for. So I guess we'll actually do sort of the shape for his face first, right? So the shape for his face comes around like this. So it starts here. Say so this is his jaw, comes around here. And then the other side comes around like here. And say like some of his chin lines and things. <clears throat> Like so. And then the main sort of shape for his, his head and his face. So it comes around this way, right? So this is like his round sort of. Head. Okay. So his mouth is in here, right? So it's real big, right? So, say like, so his mouth, where would it start? We'll start, we'll go, we'll start at the bottom, right? So we got like, real big line, just there for the bottom of the mouth, and it's open, right? So it's gonna go stretch real far, up there along the side. That. And then we'll do something similar over here. And we'll bring these around to meet. All right, like that. So that's basically his mouth, right? So bottom teeth, I guess that's the easiest place to, so we'll go. There. And then we have like gum areas, right? So like these lines, just to show his gums on the bottom. 
And sometimes you might have like a little line coming up from them. You could do full lines as well if you wanted, you know. Right, it's this kind of stuff going on there. So then we have his tongue, right? And it's big, just round tongue here. Right, and then his top teeth, right? So you just see them coming out from the back here and then curves around again. And this time we can see his back teeth, so they kind of bump in there. Go in behind his tongue. And then we can see like loads more of his gum on this side, right? So like some small teeth here and then bumps like this for his gum. You can actually see the teeth bump it around. Like so. On that side. And then we can just see like gum lines just here. And you might have um, some lines for his teeth coming around, like here. Okay, so the rest of his head then comes around here. So it's real small because it's like foreshortened and everything because he's hunched over. Oops, around here and then around this side to there. And his eyes are closed, right? So can't really see much in the way of eyes, right? So we can just see the sort of squinty lines and stuff. But we'll do we'll do his nose. So his nose sort of comes out from here first. So it'll go like out and up. And there's like a shadow on this side of it. Goes up and then we bring it down. And I think it joins his eyebrow on this side. And that goes here and back to there. And then you'll have a nostril just there. And then his eye is in here somewhere. So like it goes across here. We could have like some dots and scratches and details around his face, you know, stuff like this. And his scar is here as well. Some more sort of frown lines coming out from behind his nose here. Some hatching. And then his eye going this way on this side. His eyebrow coming out from the top. Eyelid lines. Like that. Okay, so his hair. Then comes out from behind his face, just here. So like all these black spikes. You can do any old way, really, because he's like, it's an action shot. So, you know, the hair blows in the wind and all this kind of stuff. So you know, it doesn't have to be exactly like mine. You just sort of get these spikes going around his head. And they go in behind his neck, eventually. And his ear, so, say like, so we'll go down to his neck. One, a big one comes out from his neck here, 
another one here, 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 here. Right. And these ones go like in behind his ear eventually. So this one comes up like so. And his ear sort of is in here. And bones and ligaments on the inside. Man, if you think drawn <laughs> normally is hard to try drawing upside down. Okay, so we can just see his shoulder coming out here. So his vest, like his red vest goes this way. Comes down around here. That's so his body's all hunched over, and then his sleeve goes up here. And this will go back this way then. eventually off my page at the top there so this is like his red t-shirt sort of thing and then there's all full lines and stuff in here all right and then we meet sort of a bit bent up here it's like the bottom of the shirt but it Bends up here, goes around the back, back into there. Like so, and his other shoulder, so it comes out from behind his neck here, and then we'll go bump it down to his sleeve just here. Which has like some full lines and things. And then his leg is like here, right? But we'll just, we'll finish this section first and then we'll do his leg. So we'll do like his, his shoulder and his arm and stuff up here first. So the arm, shoulder comes out here and not like overly muscular or anything. So just like curves around and it's got like lots of energy lines and stuff, direction lines, but we'll, we'll just get our main sort of parts in first, right? So, arm comes, comes out there. And then, so like, curves up. Like so, and then his fist, his arm and his forearm will come out this way. So this is drawn in like real rough and sketchy, right? Because they're trying to get the, the direction of his arm going going this way. Like it's drawn in real like this, okay? And you can do that if you like. And I will do it for anyone who wants to. So, right, so lots of these direction lines, motion lines. And you're aiming towards Lucci, who's down here. So you want to aim your pen that way. And like all of these have all these kind of direction lines on them. It's done in real sketchy. It just sort of shows the motion of his arm. common technique in manga and anime drawing. So right, so his fist 
So again, it's done the same sort of way, right? But we'll just sketch in lightly the main parts of it. So little finger sort of comes around here and in one piece, the fingers are sort of drawn in quite sort of, I don't know, cartoonish, I guess. So it's like his wrist coming that way and you know, like you might have a wrist bone there. And so then his thumb, again, doing like real sketchy coming around. Like that comes in underneath. finger there another one here not a lot of detail now in this it's just done in like real rough the little finger curves around here right so Lots of blurry lines. Kind of like that. And then his hat. It's kind of a bumpy line coming around from the back of his head. The inside line for it just here and we have you know those lines texture lines just to show it's made of straw and then we got some more action lines just inside and the other side of the hat comes in somewhere just between his chin and his sleeve back here and more sort of direction action lines there okay so his leg right so we'll go down over down here so we're gonna add in his trousers now right that sort of bumps real bumpy sort of line because there's lots of folds and it's the closest thing to us to the viewer here So we got like, um, so this is like the white, he's got like white, um, I don't know what you call it, it's just like fur or something on the bottom of his trousers, just there. And you just make a sort of furry line. lines on the inside like so and then we've got a pocket or something up here Going that way, 
and some like bumps and things going up here. And this is all folds and folds on his jeans. So, how are we looking? So that's his leg, right? That's his hip, right? Being bent over in half, just if you're trying to make sense of what we're looking at here. And then he's another fist, just coming out this way. And again, so this is like an, a big sketchy, <coughs> sort of line right so it's like it's one of those going towards <coughs> this point here you want to do your lines right so just coming out like this you could draw it in first if you want it but I guess it's easier to just sort of go with the direction that we know it's in. Right, and then the bottom of his fist is it's it here. Right, so then this fist, let's bring it around here. We got like fingers, right? So we can just see knuckles, one, two, three. So again, like real. The palm of his hand here. Right, so it's kind of trying to just show motion and stuff. So then, right, so that's that's Luffy, right? You can add um, steam and all that kind of stuff if you want to come off him for gear two, um, second gear. Um, you know, and like roughly, so, you know, you add some steam and you can erase what you shouldn't see underneath. So if you want it. Um, but let's get on and we'll do Lucci down here, right? Like, we can just see his neck, right? So we'll just do his neck first. So, like, a diagonal line here. A diagonal line, let's say, here. All right, and then you'll have, like, neck muscle lines in here neck muscle in here and then like the front of his chest like his collarbone here right so we gotta just we'll get like his body in the right place and he's got this um, fur along his chest so let's say like that right then his trapezius come 
comes down from here. So he's got like, you know, muscles on his muscles, this guy, right? Like so. So we'll just get like the main trunk of his body in first. So chest, sort of middle line of his body here. Chest comes down and underneath. Around this way. Like that. And we got like a nipple here, nipple here. And he's got that fur coming across his chest, right? Coming up towards his shoulders on either side. Right, like so. And then like the center line for his abs and things. Coming down that way. And then the side of his body, so his ribs, sort of here. And then his waist comes down that way. And then side of his body there, waist comes down that way, okay. And then, yeah, so then, um, more sort of ab abdominal lines just here, right? So, ab, one ab there, comes across. You can have some rib lines just here. Normally like letter Y type shapes are good to get those, like give you the illusion of those sort of shapes, right? And then more abs down here. Kind of suggesting them. He's got all the like all the scratches and things on his body as well. And I think he's got like some leopard spots on the side of his body here. Right, right. So then, his arm on this side. So we got like big bicep there. And then, so his shoulder sort of comes out and down. I think it must be slightly hairy there. And then the shoulder comes across that way, and then tricep. Lines, and there's like lots of marks and scratches and stuff all over his body. Because he is getting beaten. Right like this. I think his trapezius on this side should be a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to add an extra line here. And we can see some like leopard prints on this side. So his arms are out, like he's, you know, he's, he's getting pummeled, right? So he's like, ah. So here we can see his forearm like coming around here. Two bumps just there. Right, kind of looks like a bit like a love heart. And then his hand comes around here. hand there some 
Leopard Prince. Maybe we could see some here as well. There's definitely some on the side of his shoulder. Right, so then his thumb. So we go up, bring it around. Down into there, and he's got like a sharp kind of thumbnail. He's got like claws, right? So finger here, claw on top, and then finger here, claw goes on top, finger kind of comes around, down into there, and then. This finger comes up, down, around to there. And then the final one, index finger, around like that. And these like hand lines and stuff in there. Bum 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 bum. Okay, so we can't really see his other shoulder, which is annoying, but I'll attempt to draw it in. So, hand pit here, so that means tricep, kind of bicep area. This arm is slightly higher up, so we'll go that way, right? And then this will come around towards his hand there. Right, and then we'll have like forearm again, bicep kind of muscles on his muscles again, this guy. So bicep here, and then shoulder area. Open around here, real furry. So that goes into there, and then we've like a bicep line. Something like that, anyway, I kind of just made that up. But... Okay, so. like the main parts of his body and we just do this hand then right so we've got like four fingers here so different hand position to this one now so we got like one comes down sharp nail and then one beside it sharp nail and then the next one sharp nail like this This comes up around. Sharp nail. And we can't see his thumb, so I'm gonna have to make up his thumb. So I think, what would you do? So here. Right, so that means, his sharp nail kind of comes across his hand, wrist, here, and then thumb goes up. I kind of use my own thumb now as a guide, so I don't know how well this will work. That way, and then it curves up like so. And if it's like that, so we'll go around the top. Yeah, this is working. I can't believe it. <laughs> and this thing goes underneath. And then like the palm of the hand here, down, around to there, and we'll give him like a sharp nail on top. Something like that, right? Okay. So that, I know that's like, looks a little bit sketchy, right? Compared to Luffy, but it's because like a lot of his, his arm and stuff and body is obscured. 
it's hard to see in the picture but uh, not bad okay so his head right so what we can see so his head is actually like thrown like back so you can just sort of see the underneath parts right so it kind of like curves around down and up right so this is like his jaw here right you have like shadow underneath this and we can see his mouth and his teeth and things right so somewhere so let's go here it curves around right like that and then bump and then go around for his teeth point there and we'll just put in like some teeth on the side some long teeth there so what can we see there on the side of his it's like the side of his head All right but we can see bottom lip just there and then he's got those two sort of tattoos or something down here like leopard spots or something on his chin and two of them just there then we have a line that comes around for his lip the line comes around for his lip there top lip and then can we see his nose I think we can see his nose here right so like this triangle just there with some nostrils because his head has been like thrown back and then like the side of his head or his ear or something here it's hard to make out really I think that's an ear but I don't know it could be hair or something Here and then, like the top of his face, All right? So, head is being thrown back. I think we can see his ears here because his ears are like on the top of his head, I think. So, like an ear there something here and then like his hair is all here sort of black hair not bad not bad coming around his shoulder I think that's an ear anyway can we see any hair coming down this side maybe a little bit So that's pretty much all we can see of his 
face, right? So it's not it's that much, but. So it's kind of been thrown back, okay? And then, so in terms of like energy and all this kind of stuff, the Gatling gun and all this. So we're just going to do like these sorts of lines, right? Going towards, going towards this guy, Lucci. So these will be sort of colored pink and all that. So lots of these. So fast sort of blurs you know that's what they are and you just gotta all you gotta do when you're coloring then is to add a bit of pink to them and it'll make them look like luffy's fists Going, always going towards this guy, going to this direction, right? Some of them can have, you know, like air or energy coming around, you know, like these sorts of spikes and stuff, puffs of air and wind around them, if you want. sort of dents in his
trying to make it look like he's kind of been smacked a little bit. So just adding some of these. Sort of dents in his body and stuff like that. So. But I think I'll have to leave it there, guys. That is how to draw Luffy. Gatling gun versus Lucci. Hope it's helpful. CM Nate, or not CM Nate. Who requested this? Just a person. That's who requested it. Uh, CM Nate requested something else, and I'm getting confused. Uh, but there you go. Hope it was helpful. No, it's a different, difficult one. But uh, hope it helped you out anyway. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.